Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Janda, and please welcome to our Operation Freedom platform, WeThePeopleProcessing.com. You know, are, are you tired of being threatened to be canceled just because you have a company focused on liberty and freedom? Well, worry no more, folks. WeThePeopleProcessing.com is your go-to merchant services, freedom-based company to provide business service payment solutions. We The People Processing provides their clients a cancel culture free platform which is domestically based. They provide competitive rates, no contracts with next day funding, a fully vetted and like-minded financial infrastructure and full support for integrations, implementation and e-commerce efforts. Bottom line, WeThePeopleProcessing.com focuses on defending your company's free market growth, values, and future. Check them out at www.wethepeopleprocessing.com. Once you're on the site, enter in password Operation Freedom or call 855 499 2024. That's WeThePeopleProcessing.com. Then, when on the website, Enter Operation Freedom as your password or call 855-499-2024. Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you say categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Don't be rude. No, I'm not going to give you a question. I'm not going to give you a question. Can you say categorically? You are fake news. Sir. I'm Dr. Dave Janda. Welcome back to Dave versus the MSM. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. Now, a, a number of folks contact me and say, look, uh, I, I, I don't get notifications about YouTube presentations. Uh, if you're going to rely on YouTube for that, forget it. It ain't going to happen. This has been, our channel has been suppressed, oppressed. It's a joke. All right. The channel has phenomenal content. How it's treated is a joke. Why? Because the deep state fears what we do. We dissect current events that impact your freedom that the bought off lamestream fake media will never touch. Fact. So we are available at DaveJanda.com. 24-7. Extra shows, extra content, extra videos, extra analysis, extra guests, archives to all of our shows. We have a free side, a public side, as well as a subscription side for 30 cents a day that provides you the most in-depth dissection and analysis of what is happening behind the curtain that you will not get from any other source because none of the, none of the other platforms have, have the contacts that I have developed over the past 35 years around the world. Try it for a month. It will put you months, if not years, ahead of the curve. Now look, the syndicate is doing everything in their power to destroy the Constitution. They will do anything and everything in the future to destroy it further. One of the ways in which they go after our remaining freedoms and liberties and rights is they go around the Constitution. You see, they've placed their middle-level puppets. Everybody tends to think Obama and the Bushes and the Clintons and the Bidens and the Romneys and the Pelosi's and the McConnell's and the Schumer's and, and the Ryan's and all these political hacks. They're high level, wrong. They're middle to low level puppets, every single one of them. But they put them in positions so that they can circumvent the Constitution, okay? Let me give you examples. Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, and this World Health Organization Treaty, okay? And their uh, associated international health regulations, okay? They use these entities to go around our Constitution, hoping you won't notice, hoping you won't contact your elected representative and say, what are you doing about this? This is usurping our sovereignty of our country, our rights, our constitutional rights. What are you doing about? They don't want you to confront people, so they keep this information all in the dark. 
and they have for decades. Agenda 21 was brought to our shores by who? George H.W. Bush, globalist hack scumbag extraordinaire. He brought it to our shores in 1992. Agenda 21 is a UN resolution and directive. Operation Freedom, our radio show, which airs out of the People's Republic of Ann Arbor live every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern. You can stream it live free by hitting the Listen Live button at DaveJanda.com on Sundays from 2 to 5. If you want the podcast, that's part of the subscription platform, 30 cents a day. Agenda, we have talked about this. We have dissected this which with a number of people. Uh, Paul Preston, Michael Shaw, uh, across the board. Di dissected Agenda 21 for 11 and a half years. We were initially told that's conspiracy theory. Well, it might be conspiracy, but it's conspiracy reality. We were just reading the document to people. We didn't make it up. So Chris Carter wrote this about Agenda 21. Well, what is it? Agenda 21 proposes an array of actions, it's a UN directive, which are intended to be implemented by every person on earth. It calls for specific changes in the activities of all people. Effective execution of Agenda 21 will require a profound, profound reorientation of all humans unlike anything the world has ever experienced. This from Agenda 21, the Earth Summit strategy to save our planet. Newt Gingrich stated during a campaign event that the United Nations was seeking to create an, quote, extra constitutional control, end quote. I don't agree with him at times, but he's right. Over the United States with programs like Agenda 21. Agenda 21 seeks to control populations through zoning and seizure of private property, strip national sovereignty, Reduce the world population in their addendum to Agenda 21. Michael Shaw pointed this out. They're talking about a 90% population reduction. Kind of makes what's happened over the past two and a half years come to a little bit more focus, doesn't it? Yeah. Reduced world population. Even control our consumption of meat. Ooh, what Bill Gates pushing that meatless? And, 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 and. And eliminating air conditioning because that doesn't fit in with the green agenda. Unless you're a globalist. Then, oh, you can live in a meat locker as far as they're concerned, right? All in the name of environment. And they use the word sustainable. Whenever you see the word sustainable, sustainable development, this is all emanating from Agenda 21. That's ultimately about stripping you of your freedoms and your liberties and your private property. That's not conspiracy theory. It's fact. But then they did an agenda to 2030, or an addendum to uh, Agenda 21. It's called Agenda 2030. So H.W., then supported by Clinton, then supported by George W., you know, his little kid, all pushed Agenda 21. And so did Obama. Frankly, Trump didn't do much to undo it, did he? Basic facts of Agenda 2030. This hit town in 2015 when Obama was there. We had to up the game. This from Elizabeth Anderson. The basic facts of Agenda 2030. Another UN directive resolution. The heads of state and government and high representatives met at the United Nations headquarters in New York on September 25th through 27th in 2015 to create the new Global Sustainable Development Goals. The uh, 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is a resolution adopted by the UN General Assembly. The 2030 Agenda has 17 sustainable development for sustainable development is a resolution adopted and it has 17 sustainable development goals and 169 targets. According to the UN, quote, all countries and all stakeholders acting in collaborative partnership will implement this plan, extra constitutionally, as Newt Gingrich pointed out. The goals and targets 
will stimulate action over the next 15 years. That would take us to, yeah, well, they did this in 2015, to 2030. This is of critical importance to the planet and the importance for humanity. Oh, okay. Action items in Agenda 2030 consist of expanding taxation. Oh, how Vladimir Lenin-esque, huh? You know, grind the bourgeois, the working class between the millstones of taxation and inflation. Yeah, that's what he said. Action items in Agenda 2030, expanding taxation, empowering the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to access financial information of the populace. Oh, how special. Strengthening regulations on private businesses to achieve, quote, public goals, end quote. How about wiping out the middle class, wiping out small businesses, medium-sized businesses, right? So the conglomerates can run everything. Growing services for immigrants in their host countries. In other words, pushing illegal immigration. Footing a $100 billion annual bill for, quote, clean energy, end quote. How about the Green New Deal? Which brings us to the World Health Organization Treaty. Now look, they're trying to confuse you. There's the World Health Organization Treaty that they're working on to be potentially implemented in 2024. But there is something already in place that was put in when George W. Bush, you know, H.W.'s little globalist kid, My Shield products are EPA and FDA approved and are proven ready to help you, your family, and your community neutralize COVID, bacteria, viruses, spores, and fungi. The water-based alcohol-free hand sanitizer foam and disinfectants are safe for people, animals, and the environment. Application of the MyShield products has been confirmed by independent studies to provide persistent protection for 28 days on surfaces, and for four hours on the skin, which is one application with a very quick dry time. Check out MyShield products at OperationFreedomHealth.com. That's OperationFreedomHealth.com. Was in power? Yeah, they pulled this one off in 2005. Julian Conradson pointed this out. The international health regulations went into effect on June 15th, 2007. Hmm. What are the international health regulations? International health regulations is a legally binding instrument of international law, which is, enforce, which is enforceable in all 196 World Health Organization member countries. Now, here's where Trump did do something. Trump said, we're not going to keep funding the World Health Organization. And now here's where he made the mistake. He said in, 20, in 2020, we're going to pull out of the World Health Organization. Good. But he said in July of 2021, You see, I believe he should have said, no more money to the World Health Organization. And we're pulling out right now. Actually, he should have done it in 2016 when he hit the door. But, you know, Jared Navaka convinced him not to do that. Uh, but in 2020, before the election, and he said, we're out. We're out as of July 2021. So if they needed a year to, to be out, then he should have done this January 21st or 22nd, 23rd, of 2017, but he didn't. So this international health regulations, which have, were voted on by the UN in 2005, went into effect on June 15th, 2007, are in place. And it's enforceable in 196 WHO member countries that would grant 
they grant the who the world health organization unprecedented authority to control public health measures in an event a pandemic is declared by the international organization now in the international health regulations there were some stipulations okay but in january of 2022 at the dead of the night without any media exposure of course now the deep state lamestream media is not going to expose this the biden administration sent amendments to the international health regulations that are already in effect about essentially granting dictatorial powers over health sovereignty to the director general of the world health organization this tedros character who isn't even a doc we cannot confuse these amendments to the international health regulation that's already in place and has been in place since 2007. Don't confuse that with the treaty because people are saying, well, you know, the Senate had, the president has to sign off on it, but then two thirds of the Senate, uh, two thirds of Congress has to approve it for a treaty and that's not going to happen. Well, it might not happen, but that's the cover they're running for 2024. The international health regulations are already in place and the amendments were directed not at the treaty, but at these international health regulations. And this just occurred in Davos from the from the 22nd to the 28th with the elite, you know, all hanging out. So this is from the Iowa standards. Biden amendments to the international health reg regulations. Biden amend amendments hand U.S. sovereignty to the World Health Organization. The Biden administration is setting the stage to hand ultimate control of America's health care system and U.S. national sovereignty over the World Health Organization. Between May 22nd and 28th, the 75th World Health Assembly convened at United Nations headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland, and also they had a subsidiary meeting in Davos, in Switzerland. The delegates from 194 nations uh, voted on the Biden administrations were to vote on the Biden administration amendments that will hand over national sovereignty and authority to the World Health Organization. On January 18, 2022, officials from the Biden administrations quietly sent the World Health Organization extensive amendments without an official statement or a single press conference. These proposed amendments are written to strengthen the organization's ability to unilaterally intervene into the affairs of nations merely suspected of having a health emergency of possible concern to other nations. If these amendments implement, are implemented, the World Health Organization will have power to declare an international health emergency, nullifying the powers of the nation states. The U.S. amendments that Biden has submitted Delete a critical existing restriction in the regulations. Now, what is the restriction? The World Health Organization shall consult with and attempt to obtain verification from the state party in whose territory the event is allegedly occurring. End quote. This enables, this amendment, these amendments, Biden submitted and Harris submitted, enables the director general to declare health emergencies at will and can be used to justify ostracism and economic or financial actions against the targeted nation by other nations aligned with the World Health Organization or wish to harm and control the accused nation. The contents of the proposed amendments were not made public. They kept it quiet from January 22nd until April 12th, 2022. Michelle Bachman, former member of Congress and the dean now of the dean of the Robertson School of Government at Regent University stated the Biden proposal, quote, would effectively cede United States sovereignty authority over our health care decisions to the World Health Organization Director General, end quote. Okay, now, now, here we are after the 28th. They're kind of mum. They're kind of quiet on this, right? Oh, it won't affect. Oh, that's conspiracy theory. No, 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 no. Here's what we need to do. Right now, you need to contact your elected representative and say, what are you going to do about these international health regulations? Even without these amendments, this international health regulations is garbage that, that you guys signed off on in 2005 under Bush, W, get rid of them. 
What are you doing to get rid of them? What are you doing to get rid of, of Agenda 2030 that's been like a, a creeping weed in our government and, in, and that's now gone into the states, gone into localities? What are you doing? What are you doing about Agenda 21? You need to do the same to your elected representatives in your state and in, 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 in local. What are you doing to get rid of get rid, pull the weeds out of Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030 and the World Health Organization through their, through, through their international health regulations. What are you doing in our community, in our state, in our federal government, depending on who you're talking to, to get rid of all of this? Because it's unconstitutional. It, it, it goes around the Constitution, okay? They think you don't know about this. They don't think you know about Agenda 21. They don't think you know about Agenda 2030. They don't think you know about the international health regulations. And they don't think you know that this that they're working on a treaty to implement for pandemics, this World Health Organization treaty in 2024. You need to let them know you are aware of this and you and you are holding their feet to the fire to rip out anything associated with Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, the international health regulations, and surely not pass the treaty in 2024. And, you, and what you need to tell them, because they fear this. They really do. If you don't move on this, I and my neighbors and my family and my friends, we are going to make sure that you are not reelected, that you are not even nominated in the primary. They fear that. They really do. And the more people they hear from, the sooner Agenda 21 and all of its spreading, creeping weeds goes away and Agenda 2030 and the international health regulations. And in addition, there are, there are law entities that focus on the Constitution that are going to file suit on these international health regulations. Some of these nonprofit legal entities have been fighting Agenda 21 and Agenda 2030, of which the bought off lamestream fake media wants you to know nothing about. So the single greatest thing you can do is inform your family and your friends and your neighbors and your coworkers about Agenda 21, about Agenda 2030, about the international health regulations that have already been in place since 2007 and that the Biden administration tried to amend to give the World Health Organization even more power. And you need to let them know that there's a treaty on the table that needs to be deep-sixed for the World Health Organization and pandemics because they did such a beautiful job the past two and a half years, right? Right. Now, this is about your freedoms and your liberties and your future and your life and your health. Fact. And everyone's health and welfare you know about. And by their counting on you, one, being ignorant of all this and being unaware, and they're also counting on you sitting on your couch and not doing a thing about it. And the single most effective way to defeat all of this is to network this information to anyone and everyone you know and love. Because... The more people that are educated, the more people that become empowered, the more people that become empowered, the more pressure they put on everybody at every level of government that they're knowledgeable about it. And they are expecting these uh, bought and paid for uh, Republicrats, one political party, to do something about. And if they don't, then they're gone. They're out of office, period. That is the way that we defeat and we end this reign of terror by the deep state, the globalist syndicate, the new world order crowd, the criminal international banking syndicate, the thugocracy, whatever you want to call it. I thank you for your time today. We are available 24-7 at DaveJanda.com. Free content as well as subscription content, which is much more in-depth and we bring, and, and, and on topics that we cannot even discuss on any social media platform or on the radio for that matter. Plus, we have the radio show every Sunday from 2 to 5 Eastern with great guests and great analysis. You can stream it live and free at DaveJanda.com by hitting the Listen Live button on Sundays from 2 to 5 Eastern. Thank you for your time today. Thank you for everything you're doing to network this information. Until next time, Dave Janda signing off. Dream big and dare to fail. Thanks for your time today.